Ultimately, that the truth comes out one day about how a global media empire brought down the fabric and foundation of the greatest sporting team in New South Wales. You remember the Bears, the mighty North Sydney Bears, everyone's second favourite team. Rod's dare does, and she has never forgotten them. The great wins are always what drives you to come back because you know that next week it might be the time that we'll have such a great win again and you've just got to be a part of it. The North Sydney District Rugby League Football Club is a sporting club based on the North Shore of Sydney. It has continuously operated since 1908 when it was first registered with the New South Wales Rugby League. In late 1994 a multi-billion dollar media organisation known as News Limited attempted a takeover of the sport of rugby league. It was looking for something to include on its pay TV schedule. The results were dire for many teams within the league, but the worst off were the Bears. They were left without a team in the top grade. Uh, all those in favour of Rose receiving one membership tie. Then along came Ros Dare, the first woman to be awarded life membership in the club's 107 year history for her endless hours of volunteer work and her fighting spirit to return the Bears to first grade. Would you like to say something, Roz? Or... Um, no. <laughs> first met Roz when there was a public rally held in 2004. It was advertised in the local papers and around 250 to 300 supporters had turned up that day. Seeking life membership for Ros was a simple decision. Ros had spent so much time over the past 30 years volunteering and helping out the North Sydney Bears. She sells merchandise every weekend at home games. She chats to supporters and gives them a feeling of wanting to be having them at the club. She's never given up in her determination to see the North Sydney Bears return in the NRL as the Central Coast Bears and her willingness to continue to keep fighting when the odds are stacked against her makes her a prime candidate for life membership of this club. In 1999, delays in the construction of a purpose-built stadium on the New South Wales Central Coast left the Bears in a perilous financial position. When the North Sydney Lees Club voted not to support the bid, the Save the Bears group was formed. The, the Save the Bears group was uh, a group of about a hundred supporters, but they represented many thousands of people. The Save the Bears group had to fight on three fronts. Firstly, against News Limited, but secondly and thirdly, we had to fight our own leagues club and the administrators of our football club. We were fighting to keep the Bears alive, and I can remember Peter Bosley on 2UE called for all North Sydney supporters to get down to the leagues club. It was do or die. And that night, the Leagues Club was absolutely packed. There was a lot of emotion in the room. And we actually put our lives on hold at the time because it consumed our lives. There was so much to be done. And getting back to Roz, she was the person that we would call on. Whenever we needed printing done, call on Roz. Whenever we need graphic artwork done, Roz was there to help. And I got introduced to some of the members of Save the Bears and thought, well, if I want to see my club that I love survive, I had to be a part of it. So yeah, it was a very interesting time. Even now, here in 2015, Roz leads the push for a first grade team on the Central Coast. It'll be successful. We all know it'll be successful. And overnight, once they say we've got a licence, if that happens, I, I think the switchboard will go into overdrive. It'll just, it'll be such a relief. There's been people that have been working for this since the day we were kicked out. And it just has to be, just so we can really prove that what a travesty it was to kick us out. Because the day the day the bears will have a victory. Bears are men who play the game.
the game. They play it as a team and not for glory, but for fame. Proud they're wearing red and black. Determination they will never lack. True to their tradition, they play it fair and square and every game's for naught. So raise a cheer that they can hear each time they make a score. The red and black play And every fair that ever there was is gathered here for certain because the days, the days, the fairs will have a beer.